you guys, you guys are not going to believe what I had today. This, I haven't been excited, this excited about like a box in, since Christmas of like 2010. This is definitely one of the biggest investments I've ever made. It's like Christmas today. This is, is the DVA, DVI, DJI, DJI, DJI Mavic Air 2 Fly More Kit. It's like airtight. Look at this. It's like a little carry-on, so this is like a shoulder, shoulder over bag. Um, with everything inside, I'm gonna assume this is what's gonna weigh because everything inside. This is probably a good like four or five pounds actually. It is a bit heavy. Okay. Okay. One of the batteries, another battery. I think this is my charging bank. This is the controller. So first of all, with this new controller, um, Okay, I can confirm this now. It's, it's definitely a lot more comfortable to hold, supposedly. I've never, this is my first round, so I've never actually held a controller, but I can tell you that this one, it's almost like a video game controller. It's like the size of an Xbox controller. Like, hang on, let me. They're like almost identical, like this size. It's almost like it's just a different shape. So it, if you want an idea of what it would feel like, that's basically, it's gonna feel like an Xbox controller. I'm gonna put this down, so I don't have to mess with that. Ho, ho, ho. There we go, look at that. This, this is, this is what I came here for. This is the DJI Mavic Air 2. This right here, boom, boom. It's like a stinking, tr dude, I would play with this, like as a kid, I would think this is a toy. It's just like, it's like a transformer. It unfolds like that, it's crazy. The material, it feels very, it's like a plastic, but it feels almost like a strong plastic. I think the arms are made of aluminum. Yeah, so it doesn't actually feel that bad. I heard, you know, the durability of it. This feels like pla hollow plastic, but other than that, everything else actually feels pretty tough. iPhone 11, not the Pro. So iPhone 11 and DJI. It is about the same size as my phone, just, you know, thicker. Other than that, it's actually, that is amazing. Now that I have everything hooked up, I realize I don't know how to tell if the batteries are completely charged. Okay, so there's this little sleeve on top. I didn't check in here. Okay, we have a couple more things in here that I want to show you. We have a set of propellers, which is sweet. And this Fly More Kit actually comes with an extra set, which I think is really good because there's, there's a really good chance that I'm going to go through these things. Um, I've never been the best pilot when it comes to flying things. I got lens filters. It comes in the Fly More Kit, and this was a huge factor for me. So one thing I actually, in a lot of unboxing and reviews, I didn't see a lot of people talking about the bag and made me really curious. So I just kind of want to go over the bag itself. The bag itself, like I mentioned before, it's like a shoulder strap bag. It's got um, the material itself. It's almost like a rubber kind of. I don't know if you can see that, see the texture in it, but it's almost like a rubbery kind of feel. At the front of it, we have a pocket. If you unzip that, you have a sleeve in the front for anything that you might want to put there. You have this sleeve here. Up here in this sleeve is probably where I would put the propellers and stuff. That's where they have them. I have a sleeve in the front here as well. Almost like in case I wanted to maybe put little booklets or anything else in there. And then you have this slot for the drone and a couple extra slots on the side for anything else. I think this is actually really cool. It's also one of the reasons I got this because I can just toss all this in my bag and being in a Jeep and everything, I think this will be pretty good. Ah uh, yes, I almost forgot to mention. So I did not know this, but apparently you can't just take out your toy drone and go fly it around the city and get cool drone shots. Um, you have to register it with the FAA. So after I do that, I after that I have to uh, only fly it in certain places and I don't really know what there, there's only one place I know I can fly drones here. And that's only because I've seen people do it and some police officer one time told me that it's a park where you can do whatever you want and that a lot of people go out there and fly drones or whatever. So I was like, okay, cool. It's the only place I know of anywhere else. There's like so many stupid laws and stuff. I didn't know that. I never thought they were a big deal. I mean, as long as one's not flying over my house, which is illegal and you can go to jail for that, it's not a big deal. So uh, yeah, so like don't spy on people, don't fly over cars, blah, blah, blah. There's laws for it. I did a lot of research on that too, but I know I have to register this as well as download the stupid app. So so while I'm doing all that, for any of my people who are not subscribed to the channel, I'm gonna show you what's going on in case you're interested. 
So this is my mess in my room. And all that stuff in my room is actually, um, I have the doors as well as a couple other parts, boxes of junk and um, gear basically for this right here. This is my 1993 Jeep Wrangler YJ. The reason being is because it is currently under some repairs. The other day I ripped it apart and uh, I'm about to do some repairs on it. Specifically today, actually, I need to start getting to work on it. And if you're curious why was any of this has to do with anything, Kai, what are you doing standing on my Jeep? I'm gonna be starting a 50 state road trip in this Jeep. I'm going to be living in it. Um, I tried, I'm either gonna sleep in a hammock or in a cot. I'm gonna fit everything I need in this Jeep and I'm going to try to make vlogs almost every day. What's up, puppy? You ready to go on the road trip? You like the Jeep, don't you? You wanna go on rides? We can't go on rides in the Jeep right now. I ripped it apart, I'm sorry. Later though, soon, soon puppy, soon we will go on road trips. So update on the drone situation, the batteries are charged. Um, I found out you actually have to charge this too. I didn't know you had to do that. So I got all that charged, but now I'm kind of worried. I don't know if I need to unplug this or like if they'll overcharge. I'm gonna unplug it anyway, but yeah. It would be nice to know if they uh, overcharge, that way I don't overcharge them because that's like the number one way a battery can fail is if you overcharge the battery, then they're done, you know, they wear out and stuff and this will fly for 20 minutes and not 30 minutes if that happens. So yeah, would like to figure that out. I just registered it. It was $5 fee for registering it. Um, apparently we have to label it on the outside, but I'm kind of confused about that right now because I don't know like if I could just write it like could I just write it here with a permanent marker and then would I be good or do I need to actually just use a removable piece of tape and do I have to write it or do I have to print it from what I've seen as long as the numbers on there they'll know it doesn't matter how you put it on so I'm thinking about just getting a piece of tape writing it on there and then just sticking it on and then maybe if I can find a fancier way it'd be good for later maybe I press it and then press and hold oh there we go oh it's spinning it's doing weird stuff yeah okay well i got it figured out it's turned on it's updating right now when my brother gets home we're gonna go test fly this thing but i'm going to show that in the next video because i want to give a review about it so if you want to see that you're gonna have to wait till tomorrow um what this was just kind of i wanted to unbox it and show you guys i have a couple more things coming in can't wait